Oh yeah, I saw I saw this. This is getting surprisingly little traction. Do you think this is um like too much over the line? Kamala supports taxpayer funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um for prisoners. For prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Every transgender inmate would have access. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm not- that, they, Did anyone else think that slaps, though? That goes so hard. Kamala's for they, them. I feel, well, I'm not represented in this, but I feel like maybe America is. America's a they, them, you know, a lot of people in here. That's so- good it's so good donald j trump and i approve this mess very nice they spent 12 million on the slogan and it was worth every penny i can't even like argue the position because i think it's f based to provide gender affirming surgery for you know imprisoned illegal immigrants hell yeah it's like a easy it's an easy take for me 100 percent kamala's leading in the polls yeah 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 speaking of fascist beliefs is there any legit benefit to a white ethno state no also, it's unachievable. White isn't an ethnicity, it's a race. An ethnostate would kind of necessitate a degree of cultural inselection, in-group, out-group differentiation that would eventually tear itself apart. Ethnostates are by nature unstable. I've been trying to find your past stream briefly dabbling on the ethics and human nature of rubbernecking, but I can't find it. I don't remember ever talking about that at all. You might have to ask a fan of mine, not me. They tend to categorize my shit. I just yap, you know, other people assign meaning to it. This is actually, this is, this right here, this is an art experiment, okay? How much can one man talk with no independent internal consciousness, you know? I'm like a, I'm like a lava lamp. You know, other people interpret me. They bring to me their world and they see in me their world reflected, you know? Like looking into a mirror. And Fokro with the uh, uh, message. I don't know why I said that like that was a donation. You ever hear of, say, a black person, I have, like me, who was picked on by other black people all through my younger life, didn't know how to take it, so I did the introvert thing and kept myself while the only friends I have are liberal slash center and I don't feel like I belong. Um, kind of, yeah, but the race of the people who picked on you don't really have to do with the political affiliations of the people that you engage with now, right? It's pretty common for people to be bullied by the group they were in, right? Like, there are lots of white people who got bullied by white people or Asian people who got bullied by Asian people or whatever. Um, and that can be for a wide variety of factors. There's also, like, specific in-group stuff, like, you know, gay people getting bullied for being gay by straight people, or black people getting bullied by white or black people for being, like, not sufficiently black or white. There's a, it's, it's, there's a lot. It's, I mean, it's complicated. But, you know, you are the master of your own life and future. So you have the ability to change your circumstances. I believe in you. If you want to be more sociable, you can. Median American voters be like, actually, we want a president who isn't getting shot at. Thank you, SDL. You're so right. I am Donald Trump. Dude, I'm 50-year-old schizo neocon. I don't care. I'm going to do the worst assassination attempt ever. Post-shooting polls. Trump minus one. Harris plus two. I am the median voter, and I support political violence. Rare SDLW? I think it'd be an extremely common SDLW, if anything. Why do people like that try to make it sound like black people sought them out to bully them? Okay, I'm going to be real with you here, and I'm ready to get canceled for it, okay? We talk a lot about white people doing negative things to other white people in ways that relate to white culture, right? Like the experiences white people might have in youth, in school, in life in general, the specifics to the way in which they might be cruel to one another. And black people talk about that too in the context of black people. It's mostly white progressives who don't talk about it because it comes across as kind of like, we're enabling bad discourse or it's not our place to talk about it. But black progressive people even if they don't want to talk about it because they don't want to invite the scrutiny of white racists, have, I assume, opinions on, like, man, when I grew up, there were a lot of black teenagers who were super f dickish to me in ways that are kind of, like, particular to the lived experiences of black people. None of this is about racial inferiority or superiority. We acknowledge this when it's with white people. The problem is that if you talk about it in the context of black people, a bunch of gibbering idiot 4IQ racist whites stump in and they're like, you're telling me that a black guy bullied you when you were a kid? Well, well, that's because black people must be worse. White people never bully children. It's like, okay, 
All right. Well, back to another decade of not talking about this. Thank you. So it's it's it really is one of those like you could have a much easier conversation about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A touch of the tism. Just don't be racist forehead. Look at this guy. He said forehead, but with uh, F-O-R-E instead of the four in the number. The light skin, dark skin debate makes me want to rip my own hair out. I mean, take your sides. I'm light skin, as you can see. Now that I've found my place in the world. Hold on, we need to read this because if I don't play Elden Ring soon, I'm going to get real crabby. That's what I wanted to do today. And then I wake up and I wake up. I feel it in my toes or however it goes. I don't know. Don't make my system flow. I don't know the song. Welcome to the new age, to the new age. Welcome to the new age, to the new age. Whoa, oh. You can tell a guy is annoying about music when they hate Imagine Dragons a band whose only crime is being way overplayed, but is otherwise, like, pretty inoffensive. You know? But you know if someone's coming to the party with the, yeah, worst band? Oh, yeah, Nickelback, Ra Imagine Dragons, or what? Like, come on. Come on. You're just being contrarian. They're so generic. Generic would... If they were generic, that would mean they're not the worst band. How, like, it, that would just mean they're middle of the road, right? That's such a radioactive take. <laughs> Ever heard of Creed before? I know of Coheed and Cambria because they did the song. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Coheed and Cambria. What was the song? That was the band that had the song to the movie Nine, where Elijah Wood was like, "Oh, I'm a doll. We're gonna be very Tim Burton without being Tim Burton." I never finished Nine. I remember it being good, but I might just have been like. 13. I love it when he said, yo, I'm a doll. <laughs> my favorite, yo, I'm Elijah Wood, I'm a doll. My favorite quote from Nine. That was Tim Burton. That Was it actually Tim Burton? Was that a Tim Burton movie? No, no, yeah. No, he produced it. Producing doesn't count. Producing doesn't count. All right. Why are people happy? You're making my point so hard. It, the crime of Imagine Dragon is that it's been overplayed. The way people talk about it, it's so obvious that's the reason why. I don't know how I don't have to know anything about music to know that because I know I know you. Cuz I'm in your damn walls. If if they if it wasn't for its omnipresence, I bet you no one would give a shit. 